Welcome back, everybody, to Mini Mike Sunday. I'm Father Steve. I'm Vicky. And we're back again. It's still Easter. Yes, we're, yes, we're back. <laughs> and today we have the gospel from Luke, and Jesus is appearing to his disciples, resurrected from the dead. He says, look at me, I have flesh and I have bone, and he's eating, and he's eating, and uh, it's still hard to believe for them, right? They still don't understand. And so just trying today to ask for the grace to encounter to believe but also to accept that we're not going to fully understand and we got to go through some things and we have to be taught so praying for the humility to really stand in his love stand in his presence and allow him to teach us so let us begin with prayer let us begin with song Darkness tries to roll over my bones When sorrow comes to steal the joy I own When brokenness and pain is all I know Oh, I won't be shaken No, I won't be shaken My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. And this is what we're we're reading over and over again. The apostles just standing in his love, standing in his presence, standing with that resurrected Jesus, and then in the gospel, we have we have Thomas before, and now we have the, the disciples. It says they're incredulous for joy, right? They they see um, they see him there, and yet Jesus still has to open up their minds for them to understand the scripture, understand that everything that was prophesied before is happening in front of them. That the the Son of Man really did have to suffer and die, and then raise on the uh, be raised on the third day. Um, and so I think that's the same for us. I, I know for me, there's days where I'll, I'll stand in front of the Blessed Sacrament or I'll, I'll go to adoration and it's like, man, it's hard for me to, to believe I'm, I'm stressed or I'm distracted or, or whatever. It's, it's just hard. It's hard to believe right? that, that that piece of bread right there is actually our God. Um, so I think it's okay for us to, to understand that we're not always going to have it all together and we're not always going to have yeah, perfect vision or perfect certainty. I mean, the disciples walked with Jesus for three years. They actually touched and ate with the resurrected Christ, and, and yet they still had their struggles, and they needed the, the gift of the Holy Spirit to, to really believe and to have the courage to give witness. And so we've got to be patient. You no, know? We've got to be patient. We've got to be humble, and we've got to stand in His presence and allow Him to teach us, allow for Him to open up the Scriptures, allow for Him to open up our hearts and our minds and open up our life so that we can really see His presence. Um, but it's not always an easy thing, and we're going to go through ups and downs, and sometimes our vision will be cloudy, sometimes our, our moments will be fearful, sometimes our, our days will be dark, but, um, but really just having the courage to stand in His love, have the courage to stand in His presence, and allow Him to teach us, allow Him to, uh, allow him to show us the way. So let's pray for that grace this Sunday, and as we continue our Easter season, to really, no matter, no matter what, Keep going back to his presence. Keep standing in his presence. Keep allowing him to teach us um, because he's leading us. He's the way. So let's keep praying and uh, asking for that grace. Oh, she no longer has a place to hide. I am not captive to Doesn't stand a chance when I stay on. 
And so just keep going, everybody. Keep going. It's Easter. Hallelujah. Keep saying it. We're hallelujah people. Happy Easter. Amen. <laughs> keep going, everybody. We love you. God bless. Bye. Peace.